Hey everyone, Morgan here. So today I'm making a paracord hat band. Yep, that's it. You see it right there. I'm done. Boom. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, this is far from done. Um, well, not far from done. Actually, this is supposed to be a very simple weave. I like this band. There's really nothing wrong with it. Like, it's very nice. You know, I, it's, it's great. But it's not paracord, right? <laughs> um, so I have a few strands here and I'm going to be doing a... It was, I think it's called a Turks weave. Um, I've never done this one before, but it looks super easy. And what I really like about this weave is that it's just, it's really, really easy to undo in case I ever need the paracord. Something that a lot of weaves, I think, struggle with with paracord is that, you know, it takes so long and it take, it's a struggle to, to undo it. Because the point of, you know, having paracord with us is to make it easily accessible. So I always like to look for weaves that are really easy. You know, they don't have to be complicated so that I can easily unravel it should I ever need to. So anyway, I'm going to start with two strands here. And then I'm just going to kind of weave it in and I'll, I'll show you the finished product. So I don't think that this is the actual weave that I intended to set out with, but this is actually really super easy. I'm literally just weaving it. I mean, this way I can just completely unravel it at any time and I think it's going to look good. So I finished it all up. I think that the weave that I'm doing is very, very pretty. I think that it looks really good and I think it's going to look really good on the hat. However, I did a little miscalculation when I was doing my paracord <laughs> and it did not reach. It's about half the, the size of the hat there. So I, I haven't worked with paracord in a while, so <laughs> I forgot that I actually had to make it twice as long. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but okay. And there it is. I think it looks really nice. And if I want, if I really want to up the survivability, I'm going to make this look nicer. <laughs> I think I'm going to um, burn all the ends and then I'm going to put either a ranger band on it or just some duct tape. I'm not really sure which. Or I'll make some pretty knot or something on the end. I haven't quite decided yet. But I think this looks really pretty and if I want to up the survivability of this whole hat band situation, I could turn this into fire cord and then on the ends on the back here, I could put a, um, a couple ferro rods. So then I'd have like, or um, not just fire cord, but I could put, um, you know, like the survivor cord or titan cord or something up here. So it has all those extra little survival -y features, right? Uh, so it's not just paracord, but it's paracord with extra survival abilities with it, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. I think it looks really, really pretty. It's very simple. If I ever wanted to use it and... Um, you know, for anything, I could very, very easily. Um, I'm not sure how many feet I used, um, but uh, yeah, I think that, that it looks really, really good. I'm very, very happy with it. So anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I have a lot of fun working with paracord. I just, I love it. And I'm trying to get back into it a little bit more. I have a few more projects I want to do. So uh, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you guys have been having a great Saturday and have more plans for an even better weekend. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to y'all later. Bye.